What is going on guys, the infamous Mr. Ray here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And when we last left off, I actually fucked up, because I am stupid, and I lost some footage of a little bit of a side quest. So I didn't lose the footage, I lost the commentary, and that, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when I get to that. But when we last left off, last thing you saw, we were looting and doing some side quests. And I did a whole episode of side quests, but I fucked shit up, and I couldn't do post-com because it sounded god-awful. Uh, so anyway, we're going to start the main quests again, and now we're going to start with this temple. I believe this is the Earth Temple, as uh, the Earth God lyric would, uh, you know, would portray. So now, once we play that song that was listed on there, uh, this uh, Earth Goddess would come and talk to us. Latiro, the Zoro Sage of the Earth Temple. So basically what she's saying, if you don't want to read it, like, I can, I can kind of breeze through this and get the gist of it, but basically what she's saying is, uh, Ganondorf has attacked this temple and it's been sealed away. What you need to do is find someone with a similar instrument as hers, well, the same exact instrument as hers, and she is the next sage, or he, or whomever, whomever it might be. If those of you who've played this game will know something about this. So basically you gotta do this for both uh, temples, because that's the gimmick, and it's basically the same just each time, but the only difference is it's a different sage. But, uh, I thought about combining the two episodes, but I, then I realized I didn't have enough time in one session to record, and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging for, like, four days without episodes. Okay, so now we gotta find it, and we're off to Minda, because she is the one who has the same instrument. Or Medley, my bad. Medley's actually a really cool character, and one problem that I have of do fast forwarding stuff like this is we end up skipping a lot of the dialogue that I like with her. Because she's like really She's Prince Kamal's caretaker. Well not really, but sort of. So basically you go up to her, you lock on to her or something, and you pull out your wooden waker and then you conduct the song for her, and she'll be like, oh, conduct me. Not because she doesn't know if she's the stage. When you play the song, they remember that they they're, that they they are the sage, and then she uh, oh cutscene apparently, then she feels a little weird. She says it sounds familiar, and then she faints. Yeah, great, great job, Aaron. So now she's talking with uh, the Earth God here, and this is actually really, really, or Earth Sage or whatever. It's actually really, really cool. Like, this is, this is a really cool cutscene, and speeding it up kind of, I don't want to say negates the cutscene in general, but it, it's just kind of the thing that, I don't know, it, you don't get a lot of the cool character's, you know, insight or the cool character depth because I fast forward this, but uh, then again, I don't want this to be a hundred episode series, um, mostly being dungeons, but, uh, and again. So now she taught her the song of the song, and uh, the song of the song, the song of the Earth Temple, and now she, you will be able to uh, unlock it. But as she wakes up, she realizes that uh, she will be missed by um, Kumal, Prince Kumal, and she says, let's just get out of here quickly and quietly. So now we can take her to the Earth Temple, and she can fulfill her destiny, in a sense. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, she also realizes that her teacher might have known known and all that so yeah she's she's kind of melancholy about this whole thing because she likes her life and she likes being you know with her own kind but she knows that it's for the fate of the world and she has to do it and that's kind of something that i really like about medley and i really wish i didn't have to speed this up because then we can get into real character depth then kumal realizes that she left and that's where you're left off with but now we can jump cut over to the island oh boy and now it's telling us Basically, when you get here, you tell you've had a controller. He's like, when Aaron comes up to you, you better lift her up because then you can fly. Honestly, that it, it kind of sounded weird, like I was I was doing some sort of perverted act, but whatever. Just just the way it describes it. You guys can play this on your own, and, and I, I'm sure you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so now that we have uh, Midley, Medley. I always called her Midley when I was younger. I don't know why. It's, it's pronounced Medley, I'm pretty sure. So now you go over and you play the song next to the uh, rock like you normally would. And you go bop, boop, 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 bop. This is actually a really cool song. It's like da, 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 da. Well, that's just, it's sped up, but uh, it's actually a really cool song. And uh, I wish I could play it, but I just decided to use a normal game audio. Because, uh, because science, that's why. And yeah, so now let's just, uh, now that she played the song with her heart, we can actually gain entrance to the Earth Temple. Only It's only been five minutes, so yeah, that's not too bad. 
not doing the whole Earth Temple in one video, obviously, but still. Alright, so now that we've uh, gained entrance, we can go across and use the first mechanic of her, which is uh, using her to fly. She's pretty much a cuckoo from Ocarina of Time or uh, uh, Majora's Mask, for those of you who play that game. I've played both, and uh, yeah, uh, just a fun fact. So the Moblins apparently got tougher because I don't remember they I don't I don't think they could take a jump attack before. Okay, so now they um now you defeated them. The puzzle of this room is to basically see those two pillars. There are some buttons on top of them, and you need to press them both simultaneously. Now that you have two people, you can do that. So just jump across this little platform, platform, and uh, could you just go, Aaron? I don't know what are you. Okay, there we are. So just go over here. You stand on this platform drop her and you play the uh, command melody that we learned at the temple of the gods and we will uh, control her she, Minna has a few abilities she can fly and she can reflect a light with her little uh, heart I believe that's what it's called it's a uh, pretty simple this first room but if you haven't played this dungeon before you will have a little bit of trouble with it like I when I beat this game on my own accord uh, I didn't call Minda like an idiot because I thought a mob would be there and I thought she would follow me into this room and I really wish she had because that would have made me look a lot less stupid here. Because, um, there's a new chew, uh, the black chews, which will appear in a second. The, uh, where are they? They're in this room, I know it. Ah, oh, there they are. They cannot be hit unless they are engulfed in sunlight. And they turn into stone. You just can't even hit them, you can pick them up and throw them, and that defeats them. So basically, you can't do anything. And I thought I needed mid medley, and I thought I fucked up this whole room because I didn't bring medley with me. But you can just, uh, as I demonstrate now. Oh no, guess not. It takes me a little bit while. It takes me more time of just dicking around. I thought I could teleport back using that pot, but not the case because I did not open up anything. What a genius I am, folks. Folks at home. So basically, uh, while I'm dicking, while I'm being a fucking idiot. Uh, yeah, just leave them into the light, and then they'll freeze. I decided to cancel the Persona 4 Let's Play, because um, a lot of people weren't watching it, and if some... I'm not someone who gets, like, I'm a thousand views a day or whatnot, but if only, like, three or four people watch it, I know the series isn't going over well, and I can use that time for another slot that people will actually enjoy. Okay, as you can see, I, I jumped the gun there, because I actually do need medley. Yeah, so that's, like, my reasoning behind the whole thing. Because, uh, if people aren't enjoying it, why bother, you know, putting it up? That, that's my, that's my whole thing. Maybe I'll come back to the project later, but as of now, Persona 4 is officially cancelled. I will okay, move on to my next Let's Play. So, uh, back to the game. You, be, uh, you need medley for this whole thing. Obviously, that's why you have her in this dungeon. She is a new dungeon mechanic, and as such, you can use our uh, command melody to well show off the reflect power when I stop being such a fucking idiot throw him into a wall accidentally I am just the best person okay Ugh, boy, this is not fun. well it is fun but uh, me looking like an idiot isn't fun for, let's see I've been an idiot in this whole episode for a while now let's return Ugh. what have you guys been doing lately I have been uh, I'm actually going to be doing a lot of, I'm going to be house sitting for a little while, and um, I might not be able to get as much content out as I like, but I, I'm pretty sure I can still. It's just, um, my parents, well, my mom and my stepdad are going away, and we have uh, quite a few animals. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this before, but I have, uh, let's see, I have one, five cats? One, I have uh, quite a few cats, three dogs. And uh, they all need to be fed and taken out daily. Well, not the cats. They don't need to be taken out. But uh, the dogs need to be taken out daily. And uh, that's quite obvious. But yeah, when they're gone, they need someone to look after the place. And they're out of options. So I'm house-sitting. I'm old enough to do it. I can take care of myself. Okay, so now, so now that's over. That fog is poisonous in the last room. So don't use that. I believe it um, whittles your health away. And you're not allowed to use items. I think that's how it is. But I kind of knew the gimmick, which was I uh, used Minda's reflect power to uh, get rid of the fog, and then you just climb up this ladder, and which, cause, for whatever reason, Minda, being able to fly, uh, can't use a ladder. I, I guess no one taught her how to use a ladder in um, in her little like coalition, but I digress. Alright, so now, ah, excuse me, burpee, apparently, you got to, well, there's a chest there, it's not, ah, why am I so burpee? Uh, it's not mandatory, but you can, uh, 
make it be seen. I think we also, I think we passed a, uh, a chest like that in previous episodes, but I could be wrong about that. Also use Min, uh, Min, Medley. I keep saying Minda. What is Minda from? Is she from this game? Why, uh, why am I keep saying Minda? It's gonna kill me now. Alright, I don't know why I had that key for so long. Probably my monitor turned off or whatever when I was recording this. So basically, these little hand things, they actually are quite the assholes. I don't know why they're coming out. They do attack you, but what their main gimmick, especially for this dungeon, they're not new enemies by any stretch of the imagination. You could have fought them in the Forsaken Fortress, but it, uh, it's not necessary. So you can't actually do that room, uh, room quite yet. What you needed to come in here for was a small key, so you can get to the other side. And yeah, and science. Alright, what was I saying? Something about something. Whatever. Oh, another room where I completely derp around. You're supposed to have two items, or you're not even supposed to stand in these, these switches, but you can. Oh, what is Minda from? That Was that what I was fucking out remember? So basically, you defeat all the normal twos, and you can't actually take these out. And I'm like, w what am I supposed to do here? There's, there's no light in this room. There's, there, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. And I'm just panicking and whatnot. I don't know. Generally, fucking around being an idiot. I fly across. I don't know why I flew. Alright. Well, while I'm dicking around, I can tell you uh, what I've been doing recently. I've been playing a lot of uh, Animal Crossing for the DS recently. Animal Crossing is a really pick up and play game, which is why I like it a lot. It's something I can play casually on and off. Well, it, you're not supposed to play it on and off. You're supposed to visit the townsfolk every fucking day or they get pissed at you. So apparently you're supposed to burn that little uh, flag thing in there. It's like, yeah, I never got that. You don't visit them for like a week and they get pissed at you. Like, I can understand. I can understand them being mad if they were like, you know, your fucking partner or your best friend or something, but you hardly know those people. Like, you get to know maybe one or two of them before they like fucking move away. Because I, when I play the game for the DS, there was an awesome character. I forget who he or she was. But as soon as I got to know them and got like the friendship max or whatever, uh, these are how you beat them. They're, they're easily parried. They'll, you'll, they'll try to grab you. Three parries does them in. Yeah, as soon as you get to know them, they fucking move away. That's mo it's bullshit. Alright, so now, uh, another gimmick. You can actually destroy walls and other random stuff with light. And Minda will... <sighs> Minda. Medley will show us how to do it. What is Minda from? My god, why do I keep saying it so often? Ugh, it's gonna annoy me. Alright, so what you gotta do here is uh, reflect over to these little um, uh, the fire emblem things. I don't, I'm, I'm not too sure what to, how to describe that. You don't need to destroy the top and bottom, but I do anyway because I'm cool. Also, I don't understand how the light uh, chews through so stone, but uh, if there's ever a large rock block in your path, just flash a light on it. Just bring your flashlight with you or your torch if you're fucking British. I've, I've heard people from England call it a torch. I don't understand why, but I don't. It's a thing. But I digress either way. Push that box head to the statue on it, you get a chest, and you move this box to get up. Pretty simple stuff. Oh, I hit my knee again. That's not fun. Yeah, so what was I saying? Animal Crossing. I really like the game. I've, I've done the Let's Plays of the, the GameCube one, too, actually. I really like the game because it's one of those casual pick up and play games, but they only have one portable version. They're making a 3DS version, which I'm really excited for. But uh, other than that, yeah. And we got the compass, and with the compass, you can actually locate uh, Medley, not Minda, wherever you please. She will, uh, if you like, leave her in a room, you'll be able to tell which room she is now that you have the compass. Because apparently, she's treasure. I guess she's the whole. She's technically the master key of this dungeon, considering we wouldn't be able to do half the puzzles without her. Actually, we wouldn't be able to do a majority of the puzzles without her. And I set that moblin on fire because he sets me on fire often and it annoys me. So, uh, new enemies here. I don't know what they are called because I am not a name expert. I know somebody who... I know people who know, like, the names of every enemy in Zelda ever, but I do not know what these fucking ghost shits are. So, basically, you can't kill them. I don't... No, that's a lie. You can kill them, but you can't kill them with Link only. You What you have to do is shine a light on them with medley. See that little light that was just briefly over there? But if they possess you, they just go away. So, honestly, just let them possess you if you want to just beat around this or whatever. 
And I'm, I try to avoid it. I'm like, nope, nope, you're not gonna possess me, you're not gonna possess me, you're not gonna possess me. Oh, you possessed me. I just gotta wait for it to wear off. I'm trying to go up the ladder. Well, when you're possessed, the controls are backwards, and it's a little bit harder to control, but yeah, it's not it's not that bad. I've You can function without it, because honestly, just go wear your normal controls. Like, just move, only hold down down, but just fuck with the camera a little bit, because it doesn't screw up your camera controls. It only screws up, uh only screws up your walking controls, so, uh, if you ever do get possessed, real life or in this game, just change, this, just change, change your camera angle. Pro tip. <laughs> Alright, so, another, again, just blast through here. You, this isn't even required, it's just a chest. Yeah. Animal Crossing, fun game. <laughs> I keep getting off topic like that, and it, it kind of annoys me. I also, playing Animal Crossing, I found, like, I got, like, a two dressers full of fucking furniture that I can't use because I don't, I never sell anything. I'm a bit of a hoarder in that game. I don't sell furniture. I sell, like, fish and bugs and whatnot, but I, I don't sell furniture. Uh, so, well, now we can go, uh, over to the next room. Uh, there's gonna be two rooms up here, the locked room and then the unlocked room. I think I can show off the scariest and freakiest fucking enemies in this game, or in any Zelda game, for that, as a matter of fact ever, because, uh, they're just stupid. Notice we're in a tomb room, and those of you who've played Ocarina of Time and, uh, Majora's Mask will know who these guys are. The guys who scream at you if you get anywhere fucking close to them. Oh, that sound! It's so freaky! It haunts me, because when I played this game as a kid, I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, what, what, why, why can't I move? You're just screaming at me. No, just move. That, that, that was me when I was younger. I kind of sounded like Christopher Walken, apparently. Yeah, so those things, they scared the shit out of me as a kid. So I i wanted nothing to do with them. I didn't even want to get close. I would defeat them with bombs. And I was When he scared me there, I was just like, come on, bomb, just go off. Just go off. Just go off. Please just go off. And it's just like, oh, fuck these guys. Seriously. And they're, they're in this dungeon quite a bit. And then if you open the uh, one to the far right, you get a small key, which you need to progress the dungeon. Alright, so we just get hot and some 20 rupees. Ah, oh, not even worth it, man. <laughs> These things scare me, and the bad memories of a child I accidentally threw into a wall again. I'm just like, hey, you'll be okay. And then we just go through here, and apparently Mind uh, Medley isn't coming. Can you fucking say her name right, Aaron, please? So now we come up to a mini-boss. These guys... Yeah, these guys aren't that, aren't that tough, really, because... Uh, they're only like one strong hit and they're down. They do have that attack, which is a little bit annoying, but if you use bombs, they uh, they spread apart into their head and it only takes two combos to their head to actually defeat them. And uh, it's, it's really not that hard to pull off, to be honest. It's just kind of simple, really. Two combos to the head and they're done. But then uh, he does get reinforcements, another two of these uh, skeletons, you know, come and attack you. Whenever I think of skeleton enemies in, like, any game like this, I'm like, wow, how long did it take you to come up with that one? But at least there's some sort of, you know, a little bit of a unique gimmick to this one. Even in the ones in, uh, in A Link to the Past, they had the whole, like, um, extremely evasive, even though they had no muscles or tendons to help them move. I, I never understood that, but, uh, that's Zelda, let's, let's not question that. How they're so, like, at least these guys are, like, really slow, because that kind of makes sense, because they don't have fucking muscle or anything to aid their movement. Ah, I digress. It's a, it's a video game, Aaron. Don't think too hard into it. This is not like an RPG where it's like, oh, okay, skeleton. It's like, okay, so we need a really, really, really generic enemy. Uh, uh, Franklin, any ideas? Fucking skeleton. Genius. I don't know. I don't know. The creativity in sometimes in games can kind of be lacking, especially in newer games. I actually did a commentary with my friends the other day uh, over Call of Duty. I, I was kind of the pessimist of the group. And, uh, well, I'll, I'll link that if it's up by this time. I don't know when the hell we pulled this, I suppose. But we got to the mirror shield, and that's going to end this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, if, uh, yeah, this has been the infamous Mr. A, and uh, the shield pretty much is the same thing as her, uh, her harp, except you can uh, do it yourself. So now uh, I bid you guys adieu, and I'll see you guys later. Two different say goodbye saying see ya